Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 282. I am having camera problems today, so let's hope <laughs> that I get through this YouTube because right now the camera is like looking at me going, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Now, I have a wonderful YouTube for you today. It is fun and simple, but it can be made into more. It has options, 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 and it is totally affordable. $15 is going to make you go wahoo ka -choo. I have got product from Hampton Arts and Jelly Bean Soup. And again, affordable but lots of options. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to show you maybe three or four different ways to use this product, right? Okay, amazing. But before that, I'm home from Creativation, which was in Arizona. I'm home from Creative World, which was in Germany. And I'm here for a day, So, and then I leave for New York. Oh my gosh, if you're watching the premiere of this, which would be at 8 a.m. sunny California time, then we're live chatting right now. If you didn't watch it, then we can't live chat with you, sorry. Uh, but right after the live chat, I do the in-store make and take, and I'm here till about one o'clock in the afternoon, and then I am gone off to New York for less than 48 hours, flying time included. I'm there, I go to the National Stationery Show, I get inspired by some amazing things I can't wait to see, and then I turn around and come right back home, and then I'm home for a while. Yay! <laughs> it's been a lot of travel. And poor Mr. SMS has been doing my laundry. Love you! <laughs> While I'm here taping, he's he's fluffing and folding. <laughs> now, I have winter, winter chicken dinner to talk to you about. I have a brand new product from Simply Refined, which is my line of products. I have a brand new tool, and I want to talk to you about that too because it's very important to me that you understand why I did what I did and who who did it with me? Um, so, but first let's talk, let's talk winner, winner, chicken dinner. And, and before that, I do have a shout out. I normally do not do this. You know that I normally do not do this because I don't want anybody to feel like I left them out. Um, but I got an email from a husband who his wife was having a birthday and he just asked, could I wish her happy birthday? Of course I can wish her happy birthday. The fact that you were so thoughtful, what a thoughtful husband, to know that it would mean something to her and make her heart just happy in that moment. I really, and I missed her birthday, it was the 26th, but I had already taped that YouTube by the time I got the email. So it's a belated birthday, but it's still a happy birthday. Her name is Ingrid and her husband's name is Rich. And I just, it just warmed my heart that he took a moment to think so much of what would make her heart happy. How do you ever say no to that? You can't, we're family. So Ingrid, I'm not gonna pronounce your last name right. I know it's Einman, Inman. I don't know if the I, I-N-M-A-N. I don't know if the I is pronounced as an I or an E, but Ingrid, I hope you had the most wonderful birthday ever and your husband, Rich, well, you need to give him a big old wahoo ka -choo. So happy birthday to you. And, and again, I just, I hope you had a piece of cake for me. And if not, well, then I'm gonna go have a piece of cake for you. <laughs> now, I'm gonna talk about winner, winner, chicken dinner because I do have two of you. It was from the Simply Defined release. That was my release. And um, it also had in it the Stampendous Earth and, Earth and Sky, the embossing powder kits. So you two are the two people I have are going to win a die and the embossing powder kit. That's a Wahoo Kachu prize, the Earth and Sky embossing kit. Wow, okay, who are you? Well, I've got it right here. <laughs> Our first winner is Debbie, Debbie McCary. Debbie, is that you? If that's you, you're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Okay, but you're not alone. Who's next? Cheryl, Cheryl Mock. Hello, Cheryl. Cheryl's been with us a long time. Hello, Cheryl. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. And Ingrid, happy birthday. You're a winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> 
<laughs> now Cheryl and Debbie, how are you going to claim your prize? So easy. My nose just itches. So easy. You are going to go to our website, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. You're going to look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are going to follow the directions. We'll confirm that you are indeed our winner and then we'll get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. If you want a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, it's so easy. You have to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for Scrapbooking Made Simple and then you can post a comment and we pick two winners every YouTube. You just never know when you're gonna hear your name People say all the time, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I rewound it. She said it again. I couldn't believe it. I've never won anything in my entire life. But then you can't say that anymore now, can you? <laughs> all right. I have got a wonderful YouTube for you today. I want to talk to you a little bit about my gotcha tool before I tilt on down. And the reason being is because it's important to me that you know why I do what I do. And I try, I'll try not to make it too long. Um, I, I, I am very lucky that if I wanted to manufacture almost anything in the crafting industry, I could. Not because I can afford it, but because companies would love for me to manufacture inks and, and markers and sequins and stickers and paper. They would love for me to manufacture that. And and I don't, and I won't, because I don't see the reason to do that. There are wonderful manufacturers out there already who do inks that are amazing and stickers that are amazing and papers that are fabulous. And, and why would I want to take my business away from them when, when they're, they're here to support us? So I'm very careful about what I manufacture under my own brands. And, and I try to manufacture things that, like my dies and stamps, that have my distinct style to them. Or I try to manufacture things that I think I can uh, improve upon, which is how my craft mat came around. And you'll see my craft mat when I tilt down. People made craft mats forever. Rangers been making them forever. But nobody made one that didn't slip and slide and I couldn't find anybody who, who already had one like that so I had to go out and manufacture it. It wasn't that um, that I wanted to just sidestep a manufacturer. No, I would have preferred to have found a craft mat that already had the silicone backing like I did so that it didn't slip and slide but since there wasn't anybody I had to manufacture it. That's kind of like the product I'm bringing to you today, the gotcha tool. I got the idea from another manufacturer. I looked at their product and went, oh, this is fabulous. And we have sold this product for some time through them, but it was difficult. It was difficult for us to ship. It didn't have the same space on it that I wanted. It, it was small. And I thought to myself, I think I can do a, a slightly better job <laughs> or design a, a, a more useful, it's not as cute, don't get me wrong, theirs is much cuter than mine. Mine is more practical. I tend to be a more practical girl. So knowing that this manufacturer, I would have never got this idea without this manufacturer bringing out theirs first. I called them and I said, this is what I want to do. Will you do it for me? Will you manufacture it for me? because I really do believe it would have been wrong to, what they say, knock off. Actually, in this industry, it's called parallel marketing. It sounds so much better than knocking a product. Oh, I didn't knock that off. I parallel marketed it. So I called the manufacturer and I said, this is what I want to do. Will you do it for me? Will you work with me? And, and, and so I can manufacture this the way I would like to have it. And to their credit, they said yes. I think it's important that you know I would never go around a manufacturer to, to take an idea that was theirs and improve upon it without actually calling that manufacturer and saying, would you, would you work with me on this? Now if they say no, that's a totally different story. But I would always, I, I always hope to do the right thing. And the right thing is I would have never come up with this idea without them doing the product first. And I needed it to be improved because I wanted to be able to ship it to you. And, and they were kind enough to say, absolutely, Stacy, we see the value in what you want to do. Actually, they said, we think yours is a better design. <laughs> 
and they they over the past year have worked with me to make it happen everything from having to get the molds made to I, I mean they've just they've just made it easier for me I don't know that I could have done this on my own I needed their help and they stood up and this is spellbinders who stood up with me and said we are gonna we're gonna be right there in this with you together this is your product it's your design it's your mold but we're gonna make it come to fruition because we believe in you so Arizona Andrew and Greg and Denzel and Robin and Josie and everybody who's at Spellbinders, I have a big thank you for. Even, I mean, even Wilma in accounting, <laughs> love you. <laughs> so without their help, this couldn't have happened. I'm gonna tilt on down, I'm gonna show you the make and take that's going on right now, and then I'm gonna show you my tool, my gotcha tool, and why I did what I did. And then, then we're gonna play and we're gonna start really simple with the Hampton Arts Jelly Bean Soup product and we're gonna get a little bit more difficult as we go along. But by George, I think you're gonna love this because you've got options. Trust me, options. All right, I'm gonna tilt on down and we're gonna get started for today. All right, down we go, bye guys. Let's zoom on in, zoom, 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 and down, down, down. How's that? Okay, oh, I think it's pretty good. Okay, how stinking cute is this? Well, maybe just a little bit down further. No, a little bit up further. Okay, how stinking cute is that? It's a shaker card. Look at the little, look at the little balls in there shaking away. The balls, uh, that's a whole nother story. We're gonna talk about those. They were a little tricky to use, but when I show you how to use them, I think you're gonna be okay. So isn't that just darling? These are from Jelly Bean Soup, which is manufactured by Hampton Arts. Value priced. I've got five or six new sets to show you. I'm going to show you several different ways of using them. But this is the free make and take downstairs. I just think it's so cute with the little cherry on top and so simple and easy peasy. But it doesn't have to stay simple and easy peasy. You can embellish and add more because you've got options. All right, so I'm gonna put these over to the side and I'm gonna bring out the Spellbinder tool. This is the tool that made my heart go pitter patter, pitter patter a couple CHA's creativations ago. I was in a private meeting with Spellbinders at the show and I wanna say SMS girl Elena was with me in, we, and, and keeping me on track and on time and Arizona Andrew pulled this out and I said, what is that? And he showed me and I went, oh, and Elena went, oh, and then I kicked her under the table because we're not supposed to get excited when we see something we love because I need to negotiate to get, make sure that I get it. So what is this? Well, this is a, this is a magnet that will hold your dies if you are, when you're die cutting so that you don't lose them anywhere on your table. And the nice thing about it is that it will pick them up and you can hold a ton of dies on here, absolutely. Now we brought this in and we have sold it for a very long time, but this little pointy feature, there's nothing in there. It's just for looks so that it sits. This little pointy feature is a pain in the behind. It's a pain in the, the point is a pain in the mm -hmm, to ship. The packaging is big, it's just hard. And I also didn't like how small the magnet was because on the sides, there is no magnet. There's no, ma see it's gonna, it's gonna pull it right to the magnet. There is no magnet on the side here. This is just empty space. The only place the magnet is, is right on top. So we use this for quite some time until I just couldn't ship it and it's just causing me grief. And so I thought, well, there's got to be a way to do one that's going to be useful to me and that I can ship without any problem to our customers. And that is how the gotcha came to be. And that's just what I named it the gotcha. I know people are like, where do you come up with your names? Well, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't the Spellbinders one. Well, because when you hit it, when, when you want to pick up your dies, it, I gotcha. Easy peasy. So mine has an easel on the back that you can either let it sit or you can fold it down 
and just have it flat. Either way, whatever makes your heart happy. I've got an easel on the back so that you can let it sit. But the beautiful thing about it is I can ship it because it comes in a very flat box. We like the very flat box. Easy peasy, as opposed to the box that this comes, well, actually it's a clamshell, but it's very difficult for us to ship this. So I wanted something that was easier to ship, and then I wanted a substantially larger um, magnetic so that you really could have lots of space on there. With the spell binders, again, all you've got is this little front, which was great, but now we've improved upon it and made it a little bit better. My magnet goes all the way around. There's magnet everywhere. So you really can hold a tremendous amount of dies on there if you want. And the same thing, <laughs> holding to the back, and the same thing if for some reason you drop your dies, this is going to pick it right up for you. So if you lose a die in the trash can, all you have to do is grab your gotcha tool and kind of wish it around in your trash can and your dies will cling right to it. So I didn't want to bring this out and have you think that I knocked off or parallel marketed another company. No, I went to the company who manufactured the first one, the only one, and said, this is what I want to do. Will you help me? And they said, yes. You can't get this at Spellbinders. You can only get it through Scrapbooking Made Simple. They will never sell this tool. This tool is my tool. I paid for the mold. I, I mean, it's my tool. But every time you buy one of these, sure, Spellbinders, they manufactured it. I'm paying Spellbinders for it. And, and so, so you're helping them too. And I just couldn't imagine going around them. That would just be wrong. And unless they had said no, if they said no, then, then that was their decision. But you, you need to stay with the people who brought you to the dance. And Spellbinders and many other manufacturers have been so kind and so generous to Scrapbooking Made Simple that it's important to do the right thing. Now, it's $13.99. It ships flat, it stores flat, and it has the largest surface for holding dies. Wahoo, ka -choo. Thank you, Spellbinders, for making it happen. I know it took some time. I know I was a little picky, but I appreciate it. Okay, now what do we have going on? Well, today we're going to be playing with Jelly Bean Soup, and they have got several new stamp and die sets, and they're so reasonably priced. This is $9.99 before it's on sale. And then to go with them, they have their coordinating shakers. Now what's nice about the shakers is that uh, Jelly Bean Soup or Hampton Arts has taken the heavy lifting out of a shaker. They've already done the cute little windows for you. They're self-adhesive. They've already done the card bases for you with the holes in it. So it, it takes all the, the thought out of how to make the window and using foam tape and trying to get it just right. They've, they've simpled it down. Is that a word, simpled it? They've kept it easy peasy so that no matter whether you're a beginning, a beginner crafter, an intermediate crafter, or an advanced crafter, you're gonna be able to take these products and make something spectacular. Or you can just take this product and make things that are spectacular. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna try and be very easy peasy because I think it's important that we recognize not everybody is uh, an experienced crafter. Every, some of you are just starting. Some of you, this might be the first time you're ever seeing any of this. So I'm gonna bring over my die and stamp set that I've been using. So I'm using the flower one today. And we're gonna start off by not die cutting at all. We are just going to be stamping. And I'm gonna grab a card base. And I'm gonna grab my, my gush mat and my blocks. So what's a gush mat? This is also my product. You can always tell my product, they've got weird names. <laughs> they, they were like, really, you're gonna call it a gotcha? And I'm like, yeah, that's, I think that's what I'm gonna call it is a gotcha. I feel like I need to tilt down. Are we good? Oh, maybe if I sat back, there we go. So this is a gush mat. It's about the quarter of the size it will come to you. It's actually a full A, uh, eight and a half by 11. You use this to stamp with, and you will see me using it stamping. What it does is it allows the stamp to make better contact with the paper and the paper to gush into so that you get awesome contact. 
If you're trying to stamp on a hard surface and you're getting holes or blotchy, it's because you're not making good enough contact because you've got nothing for that paper and that stamp to sink into. This is the right density, the right thickness so that it's not too gushy but not too firm. And we are not the only ones to make this. So Doris also makes one really, really, really big. It's $3.99 and we used to carry that one, but we would have to cut it in half to ship it to you and customers got really upset. I would tell you we have to cut it in half, but they got really upset that when they got it, it was in two pieces. So we went ahead and we manufactured a smaller version for $1.99. Doesn't matter which one you have, as long as you have one, if you're a stamper, you're gonna find that you're gonna stamp much better. Now I'm gonna take my first stamp, which is my big flower. And I'm gonna put that right on my clear block. This is a clear acrylic stamp and it clings off and it clings on and it clings off and it clings on. And the block is just a big piece of acrylic as well. We sell the Ducrafts blocks because they're ridiculously affordable. You get all five blocks for $12.50 and that is an amazing deal along with the little foamy storage. Trust me, that's a great price. So. These are used again and again. It's not a one-time use. And I've got my card base right here. I want to, I want to stamp. Now, how do I want my flower to be? Do I want it to be here, here? Oh no, I think that way. So I'm gonna grab some ink and I've got my Memento ink right now. This is the dewdrop size of a Memento ink and the reason it's called a dewdrop is, well, it's shaped like a dewdrop. They also make it in a full size pad. So I could have a love letter red in a full size pad. The full size pads are over $6. The little dewdrop sizes are about $2.29 and there's 36 colors, which means you could have a whole bunch of fun colors for the same price as one full size pad. I use the full size pad in the colors I use most. So I have my full size pad in black and in brown. Other than that, I only use dewdrops because I want lots of color without spending a whole lot of money. And really, I don't know, how often are you going to use teal zeal? Is that going to be the color you use all the time? If it is, then get a full size pad. But if not, spend your two bucks and get your little one. They're reinkable. They sell a reinker, so you never throw it away. And it's just a better value and gives you a whole collection of color. Now I'm going to take my love letter and I'm going to ink this up. I'm not gonna do, 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 do. I'm not gonna do this for half an hour. I've got plenty of ink on it. I'm good. And then I'm going to come over and while I'm on my gush pad, I'm gonna put my paper right down. Look at I already got my finger into it. I'm gonna put my paper right down and I'm going to stamp. So one, two, three, A, B, C. I want good all over pressure but I don't want chest compressions. This is not gonna work for you. You're not trying to revive the stamp. It's already gone. Just really good all over pressure and then pull up and there's my image. Really, really, really easy. Then I could add to this image because they've given you leaves and they've given you words and they've given you the little stem. So let's pull the stem over and put that on one of my other little blocks and grab another color of Memento and ink that up really good. And let's put that right in the center. One, two, three, A, B, C, and pull up. Ta-da! Some crafters want to overcomplicate stamping. They're so worried about pushing so hard. But with a clear stamp, if you push too hard, if you push too hard, what happens is you force the stamp to compress down and it kind of gushes out so it can be blurry. You really don't worry about pressing so hard. Just give good all over pressure and then let it go. And if it doesn't come out, practice. Paper has two sides. You. If I had to, I could put this like that. I could take a piece of paper, mat that in there, cover this up and start all over again and nobody would ever know that that's there. It's okay. 
Now I'm going to do the little, the cute little, so it has the, the flower, the leaves, the pot. It's got some cute little um, uh, butterflies, the little chickies, and then it's got all the dyes to match. I know, and it's on sale for like eight bucks. Crazy, right? I thought my prices were smoking hot good for my Simply Defined and Simply Refined. Hampton Arts, well done you. Jelly Bean Soup, well done you. Okay, I've got some brown ink on there. And because it's a clear stamp, I can see where I am lining it up. And one, two, three. One, two, three, A, B, C, up. Ta-da! Now how cute is that? Really, right? It's just darling. And then I could take, because it comes with words, and I could put my whoop, my thanks on there. And let's do it in red. Just ink up my word and you can see the word thanks is on there. I know a lot of stamp companies that would charge that much just for the stamp set. And let's go, thanks, one, two, three, A, B, C. And then it's got these little tiny sayings, little tiny sayings. So it's got just a note to say, just a note to say, and down here for everything you do. So just a note to say thanks for everything you do. Just a note to say hello. I mean, these are nice, this is easy. Let's find that one that says, thanks for everything you do. And let me put that one on here and let's put that one in red. Now this is a really small stamp, so you wanna be sure, I hope that that's the, for everything you do, okay, good. You don't want to push too hard because you'll end up smearing it. You'll end up making it look um, blurred. And we want to try to avoid that. So we're going to go one, two, three, A, B, C, and done. There we go. Thanks for everything you do. It's a simple card, but it was fast, it was easy, it didn't take very long at all, and I could do more with it. Sure, I could. I could take and um, do some cute little yellow butterflies if I wanted. I could put a couple. One. Two, I always worry about where to put them. And three, a couple little butterflies trailing off to add some color. And all I did was stamp on my card base. I didn't even mat it. I, oh, and see how there I go with my finger. I just stamped directly to it using the stamps. And again, there they are. It comes with the dies. If you don't have a die cutting machine yet, don't worry. You're eventually, if you love crafting, you're eventually going to end up with one. And the stamps are well worth the money because again, you've got the little chickadee and you've got the little sentiments and a quick and easy way to make something super cute. But what if we wanted to do more with it? What if we wanted to take it to the next level? Okay, we can. Let's go ahead and I'm going to grab a piece of white paper. I'm going to set this aside, but I'm going to bring it back in just a minute. I'm going to grab a piece of white paper and I'm going to grab my stamp again and I'm going to ink it up again with my red. So get some ink down there. And 
and let's give a one, two, three, A, B, C. So one, two, three, A, B, C. Remember, I'm not doing chest compressions. I'm just getting nice all over. I'm not doing this. Can't revive the stamp, it's gone. I'm just giving nice all over pressure and pull. Oh, lovely. Ta-da! But what if I didn't want it to have the white polka? Oh, you know what? Let's just stamp it twice. And then you can see the difference. So let's ink it up, ink it up, ink it up. Done. And let's. One, two, three, A, B, C. Done. Now, what happens if I didn't want to keep those polka dots white? What would I do? Well, I could take my memento marker or my memento dewdrop size, grab one of my little daubers and put a little yellow on it and then go right over the top. I'm going to change those little dots from white to yellow. This is easier than trying to find yellow paper that you can stamp red onto and it will still look okay. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow to take the white dots away. And I just used my finger dauber. But you're saying, oh, but that looks like a mess. Now what do I do? Well, this is where having the dies sure does come in handy because I'm able to take the coordinating die and assuming you have a die cutting machine like a Sizzix Big Shot or a Big Kick or a Vagabond or you have a Platinum Six from Spellbinders or you have a Crafter's Companion machine or uh, you could even have a, a Grand Caliber from Spellbinders. Almost every die cutting machine will take a wafer die, which means it's super thin. That's why they call it a wafer die. And today I'm using my Big Shot machine and I'm gonna use it with my multi-purpose platform. The one you get with your machine may be longer. This is the standard size and it's sold separately. The long one is gonna work just fine. It's the exact same thing, only longer. And I'm going to keep my tabs completely closed. No opening of my tabs because I'm using a wafer die and it shows you with your tabs completely closed that that's for a wafer die. Now, would it be nice to have a magnetic platform? Yes, it would be nice to have a magnetic platform. Absolutely. What does a magnetic platform do? Well, if you're die cutting and you want to line something up just perfect and you don't want to have to tape it down or use washi tape to hold your die in place, a magnetic platform will let you do that. It lets you just line it all up and then send it on through without it moving. It's $29.99 for this little guy. And maybe it's on your wish list for Christmas or Mother's Day or your birthday or Father's Day, but it is $29.99. And if you have a multi-purpose platform, it will work. You don't necessarily have to have the, the magnetic platform. It's nice, but gosh, I'd rather see you get two sets of dies and stamps for, actually it would be three sets of dies and stamps for the, almost four sets for the price of that magnetic platform. So today I'm just gonna use my multi-purpose platform. I'm gonna keep all tabs closed. I'm gonna put my clear plate down. I'm gonna line up my die. And this is a uh, open frame die, which means I can put my finger through it. It's not intricate at all, so you do not need a precision base plate to make it work. And I'm going to send it, send it on through. As soon as I get it lined up the way I want it. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna put my do not cut plate over the top. Cause you wanna try and keep one plate as 
flat as possible. I'm going to send it on through and because it's an open frame die, you don't have to go back and forth. It's going to cut the first time you send it on through. And now I've cut out. So you can see the difference between the white and the yellow. All I did was add a little bit of memento ink to change it, which means I could then lay it right over the top and change the whole look. Or I could use a little foam tape. Oh, you know what? I could cut this one out too. Let's just do that. Let's cut this one out too really quick because I could cut this one out. Let's see if I can line this one up a little bit better than I did my last one. I think that's okay. Good enough. It's handmade. All right. So I'm going to send that on through. One cut's good enough, one roll, because it's an open frame die. Oh, close enough. Put my little die back on my gotcha tool so I don't lose it. Move this over, and now I could take this cute little card, and I could take a little bit of foam tape and put some foam on the back of this. This is my Simply Defined foam sheets. We have the highest thick or the thickest foam, I believe, on the market. Our foam is two mil and three mil, and they're in big A4 sheets. So you can cut it to whatever you need. So if I pop that on there, then I could pull this one and cut myself another little piece. And pop that on there. And I am making a 3D embellishment. that little piece off so I don't see it. Snip. There we go. I've now 3D'd my card. Wah ha 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 ha. So cute. And I haven't even started to play with the shaker aspect of it. No, no, no. The first thing I did was just stamp straight to the card. That's all I did was stamp straight to the card. But then I wanted to make it a little bit more. Now there's no matting going on here. I didn't grab another piece of paper and mat it and then stamp again on white paper. I just went straight to the card base. And sometimes, sometimes that's enough. Look at how stinking cute is that? You want quick, you want simple, you want affordable. This is it and it's darling. But can we do more? Well, of course we can do more, absolutely. And this is where the shaker part comes in, which is really very useful. They've made it very, very convenient. They've given you card bases that already have the window cut out of it. You get six cards and six envelopes for $3.99 and then they're on sale. We've got the whole bundle. So the shaker, the card, and the die and stamp set is on sale for $14.37, hence the $15. So they've given you the card bases with the windows already cut out. They've given you the shaker pieces. Now, this is not one piece. You're going to get six pieces. And I think when you see this in a retail store, you may get confused and think that you're only getting one of these for $3.99. You're not. You're getting six of them. So they put the same number of card bases and envelopes with the same number of shakers. It's not like hot dogs and hot dog buns. <laughs> You get the, don't you hate that one? Hot dogs and hot dog buns. Why do they not make them the same number? If you buy 10 hot dogs, you should get 10 hot dog buns. Okay. <laughs> so they've made them the same. And that way, you know that you're not going to be stuck with one left of anything. That annoys me like no tomorrow. So you've got six of them. They're self-adhesive. 
which means when I pull this little piece off, it's going to be self-adhesive and they're simple, simple, simple to use. I could just put it right on the inside here, on the inside of my card and make a shaker on the inside of my card. I could do that. And that's probably the easiest way to get started. But how to do that, how to put the little pieces in, in my shaker and get it down here because you gotta flip it over and then how do you line it on up? It's not complicated at all, I promise you. Now I'm gonna bring over, I told you, remind me of the, the, the fabric thingies, the fabric softeners. I'm gonna bring over the newest shaker things and these are the cutest little doodads. They're little styrofoam balls, but staticky O. M G. When we first started to play with these, we would put them in our little shaker and you could turn it upside down and they wouldn't fall out because they'd be stuck. They'd be static right to the top. Oh my gosh. So we had to figure out how to make them work. Hampton Arts sells other kits. I mean like the, the glitter or the little, the little acrylic pieces come in here and little shapes of, of um, sequins. And this is chunky glitter to fill up and here's your cool or your warms and I mean they make some really cool little little sets to fill up your shakers and these don't these don't have the staticky problems neither does the wood pieces I love 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 the wood pieces because you don't have to leave them the color of the wood you can take your ink whether it be your memento or your stampin up or your lawn fawn or your markers or your tombow and you can color these wood pieces to anything you want and they've got stars and flowers and butterflies oh my gosh okay but so those these do not need the little staticky these are oh my gosh so you're going to take your little link cloth or your little dryer cloth and you're just going to kind of wipe out the inside of your little window and kind of get rid of that static we also have taken and put our little bobbles our little our little styrofoam balls inside um, inside a little bucket that has the static uh, a dryer sheet in there and they just sit there for a while and lo and behold they lose their staticky it's pretty awesome so if I were you and I were gonna get these I would just get a couple little um, a couple little bags and put a dryer sheet in there and then just dump your color in each little bag because then you can just go in there and scoop them out now I need to put my little flower so I can see it and I'm going to lay that right down on. So my little flower shaker piece, window piece, is fitting inside the cutout of my card base, fitting right in there. And I've wiped it out with my, with my dryer sheet, which smells very floral, so it's apropos that I am using, I'm using the flower. I'm going to drop some of the, uh, and I think I'll drop some of the yellow. I like yellow. Yellow is a happy color. Now, I can't pick this up and turn it over and hopefully get it in the right place. No, it would never happen. These little balls would be absolutely everywhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the liner that's covering the sticky. I'm going to peel that right on off while I leave my little flower in the window it's in the window and I know it's in the window because if I pick it up it's in there and then I'm just going to close my card that's all I'm gonna do is close my card ta-da in the right place and they're moving that's a happy day how cute is that right and then you get to decorate so then we can come back and I can open this up. Oh, messy. Wipe off my block. It's got red going on. It's got yellow going on. Um, let's take my little, my little leaf. And then let's ink that up. And let's 
stamp. Oh, gush pad. Gush pad. I was so impressed that I remembered the dryer cloth that I almost forgot my gush. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. We've got our little leaf going on. Then let's pull that off and let's grab our little pot and my brown. And on my gush and let's line that up. And A, B, C, one, two, three. So I'm there. Oh, look at how cute is that? And it didn't require hardly any work at all. I haven't die cut anything. They already did the die cutting for me. Yeah. And then I can take and, um, gosh, I can put my, my sentiment. So I've got my thinks. I'm just going to grab my thinks again. And oh, stick, stick, stick. Where do I want it? Do I want it there? And let's grab my red and get some red on there. And one, two, three, A, B, C. Okay, do you see how easy this is? And how happy would that make somebody? It's just a cute little card. It's so darling. And then there's the other butterfly. Where did my, oh, here's the other butterfly. So I could take in my other butterfly and I could do this one in yellow. This is a more solid butterfly and I could maybe stamp him. Gosh, can I get him on there? Nope. I could stamp them. Decisions, decisions, right? Just stamp, Stacy. <laughs> Just stamp. It'll be fine. Oh, I said it would be fine, and it's not because I'm in the way of my block, of my window. He's going to be a half stamp. Get him in there. Nope. So let's stamp here and let's stamp here and down over here. Nope, he's going to be off. So I'm going to move him kind of towards a corner so he's easier for me to stamp without getting in the way of my window. Same thing, got in the way of my window. Oh, I got him out. And I'm going to move him. Can I get him right there? Oh, I got red on him. Well, he'll be what he'll be. Okay, so you get the gist, because I could sit here and stamp my little butterflies all day long. The only other one I really, 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 really want is if I put him down here and stamp him here. Oh, so cute. He's coming out so cute. Got lots of little butterflies going on. How easy peasy was that? And then I could put another sentiment down here or I could stamp again and put my, put my, um, my uh, pot and my stem down there. But this is supposed to be simple, easy, fun. Didn't require a lot of mess, didn't require glue, didn't require scissors, didn't require, um, it didn't even require the die cutting. No, no, no. This required just getting that down and then having fun decorating. But what if you wanted to do more? 
Okay, let's do more. Let's say you didn't want to just stamp on the card base that they give you. Let's say you wanted to add a mat to that base. Well, that's where, oh, this is where decisions, decisions come in. Oh my goodness gracious, I have. I love the paper from Die Cuts with a View. I do, I love it all. I love the colors, I love the designs. I picked out four packs for the YouTube this one because I just couldn't decide what I was gonna like better because they all make my heart happy. There's chevrons and stripes and dots and quarter foil and I just, they make me so happy. And then, then I also grabbed the foils. Okay, look at that. Look at those colors. Is that not amazing? Oh my gosh, and then they did it in pastels. So I brought these in not knowing what I'm gonna grab because I still don't know what I'm gonna grab. I should have just picked one because this is almost too many decisions for me. Oh, too many decisions. Um, I'm gonna go with the purple. I'm gonna grab purple. And what are we gonna do with it now? Well, I'm gonna grab another card base. And remember, I said, what if you want to, what if you want to put something on the front and not just have the plane on the front? How are you going to do that? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out what size you need to make your paper and you're gonna trim it down to that. I'm going to freehand. So I'm just gonna chop off some of this and chop off some of this and then I'm going to freehand it. You would use your trimmer, I am sure. I'm just going to guesstimate at what I want it to look like. So I want to have a little bit of a mat of the original card base on the outside of it so I don't want to have it totally corner to corner. So I'm getting there. I need just a little bit more off the top, maybe a little bit more off the sides. And again, I know you would be doing this with your trimmer. No judgment on me. I'm just a free hander. I've just gotten used to doing it for so long. Okay. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna tape that on down. Stacy tape. So what I like about the die cuts with a view is it's double sided. Isn't that nice? So you have double options and the price is really, really wonderful. And I just like having all of the bright, bright, happy colors in a size that's convenient. I love the pads. I love the die cuts with a view pads. The six by six pads are my favorite and they have told me that they have discontinued some and I almost cried. I did. Mike at American Crafts and Maddie and Jackie and everybody there, they told me, oh no, we're discontinuing some of them. I'm like, no, stop. Okay. So there's my card base. Ready to do something with, but I can already hear you. Um, hello, you covered up the cutest part of the card, which is having shaker, right? No can do. Oh, what did they say? Mon, mon frere. Is that the Simpsons? Oh, contraire, mon frere. <laughs> I'm sure I said it wrong, but I'm old and it's okay. <laughs> My kids are gonna, I can already hear them now. <laughs> oh, mom, <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring over my die cut machine. So here's my Big Shot machine back. And I'm gonna be working just with my plain platform and I'm gonna bring my card base over. Now I need to put that hole back into the front of my card. You could try, you could, it's not so easy. You could try to grab a piece of paper. Oh. This orange is just, and I'm not an orange person and I love this orange. You could try to go ahead and die cut a hole here and then try and cut it 
to make it work. I find that to be difficult. It requires math. If I wanted to do math, <laughs> I would go and work on the accounting for scrapbooking made simple. I want to craft. I don't want to do math. <laughs> So as opposed to trying to figure out, okay, how does it, it has to go this way and I need to have it this far off here and this far off there and off the, so that it lines up. Let's keep things simple, shall we? <laughs> I've already got a window there. I'm going to take my die and I'm going to line it up with the window that's already there. Why make things complicated? Life is complicated enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to die cut. And I just line it up and it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You need to be close. Close is good. Now I am asking it to go through some extra paper. So I am going to roll it back just to be on the safe side. Ta-da! And you still have this piece to do something with still have that piece to do something with and I'm gonna put that right back on my gotcha tool so I don't lose it because it's bigger it's got more space it's white it has gotcha on it cuz I gotcha <laughs> <laughs> then I can take my lovely little let's make sure that I do this my lovely little window self-adhesive window just get rid of the static cuz I'm gonna use the little ballies the little I can put it in there and by George, it fits. Wonders of wonders, miracles of miracles. Ta-da! Now that didn't take a lot of thought, right? I'm good with the not a lot of thought process. <laughs> I don't want to sit there with a piece of paper and try to figure out where exactly I need to place this die so that I get exactly what I want. Oh no, I just want to trim it down to the size that I need it to be, tape it to the front, open it up, and put my die in there. All the cards have their windows. Use it this way. That way you can make a cute mat without any trouble. So then what do I do? Well, same thing. I can put it here line it up I can take my well I could put another mat down here if I wanted I mean I could do a lot of it gosh I could do just about anything I wanted um so I let's grab some of my little my little friends here where's a spoon so let's use some pink and let's use some purple And to brighten it up, let's just add a scoop of yellow. Scoop of yellow. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna make sure it's sitting in that window just by lifting it up and making sure that it's in that window, and it is. I'm gonna pull off the self-adhesive sticky liner so I expose the sticky. Get myself unstuck from it. Make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. That looks good. And then I'm just gonna close my card. shake and then a happy day right but then what do you want to do with it now you can decorate it okay so let's decorate it super fast let's grab a piece of white paper and let's grab my gush and let's grab a stamp block and let's stamp my pot 
and go one, two, three, A, B, C, and up. And then let's do my stem. And let's go one, two, three, A, B, C. And I've got my stem. And do I want anything else? Um, come on, upsy daisy. Um, let's stamp in purple. Let's stamp in purple. There we go, for all you do. Now let's grab our, I put this over there for just a minute. I'm gonna grab my die to go here. I'm gonna grab my die to go here. And then they've included this little die right here. Doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot, but it's meant to be able to cut out your tiny little sentiments. So let's bring my machine back on over, reline everything. So I want to cut here. I want to cut here. And I want to cut here. And I'm just going to cut them all at the exact same time. One roll. Come on. Oh, close enough. One roll. I didn't line up my little pot so good, but that's okay. I've got my three dies, put them right on my gotcha until I'm ready to put them away. And I think I'm gonna stamp for everything you do. I'm gonna stamp my thanks onto my purple. I didn't do my one, two, three, A, B, C. Yep, okay, see? Told ya. I didn't do my gush pad and look it. Boo! But paper has two sides. That's why you use a gush mat. That way you're sure you get a good image. I was in a rush and I didn't do what I was supposed to do. One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, so much better. Hello. Well, no, thanks. <laughs> Not hello, thanks. And I am just going to go one, two, three, four. I might even layer it. Okay, so I've got my little pieces. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Stacy tape and in no time at all, my card is done. Or for my layout, or for my altered art, you can use these little shakers for just about anything that makes your heart happy. And if you don't wanna use the shakers at all, you don't have to because I already showed you that we didn't. Why? You have options. So down, trim that down just a little bit, that's bothering me. 
I did not do such a good job lining that up. And, oh, what if I wanted to pop that? Forget that, do I, oh, here's some pop. What if I wanted to pop my little, my little pot so it's not so flat and I add a little bit of dimension to it. It's a little bit too big. So now I've got my pot and I've added some foam to him. So I'm going to add some dimension to him. And then I've got my, my thanks for everything you do. Oh, I wonder if I did it even bigger. What if I took this piece? And I put that down there. Because that's the scrap piece, the leftover piece from cutting here. And I put that there and that. Yeah, not crooked, Stacy. Thanks. Oh, I think I'll center it. Thanks. And then a little piece. So my Stacy tape is going to be too wide for my little everything, hopefully it'll zoom in, everything you do. So I'm just going to put my Stacy tape on it and then I'm going to fold it right back into itself and not worry. So I'm going to put it on, put it right on it and then peel it off and where it's hanging over, I'm just going to fold it right back into itself because it is double-sided adhesive, so you can do that. And you don't have to worry about your scissors. Thanks for everything you... Oh, crooked. I so want to stand up to line this up. I'm a stander-upper to line things up. And then trim. trim. Looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little off on the side here. Just a little bit more trim. Okay. And that there. Oh, so cute. And so done. Okay, so the first thing we did is we just stamped, stamped with it right on there. Easy peasy. The next thing we did is we just put the shaker right on the inside with a plain base, a plain front, and stamped straight onto the plain front. Then we went a little bit further and we made a mat for the front. Uh huh. But one more thing I want to do, one more way I want to use these. And let's grab this out and let's grab, I pulled that orange, let's use the orange. This time I'm going to go ahead and figure my, figure a map for my inside of my card, the inside of my card. So I'm going to chop off some of this and I'm going to chop off some of this. And I'm going to figure out what I want for the inside of my car. Oh, maybe I should throw that away. So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit more. And a little bit more. Now you can get your um, ruler out and measure it so you know the exact measurement every time. The card is an A2 card, so it's a four and a quarter by five and a half. So I want to be slightly under that so that I have a nice little mat all the way around. So I like to have a nice little mat all the way around as opposed to my paper going corner to corner. So 
So what am I going to do now? Well, maybe, maybe you want this whole piece here for a sentiment. Maybe you want to write something. Maybe you want to put a gift card here. Maybe there's something else you want to do here where if you had this cute little window here, it would take away your opportunity to write what you want to write or put a little gift card here or whatever makes your heart happy. But if we hide the window, and we put the window where we want it, just like we've been doing, but then we hide it here so that it still has something to hold to, but you're not taking away the space. How are you gonna do that? Well, you saw me, I just cut my paper down to what makes my heart happy, so I have a little bit of a frame around it. I've stuck my window where it needs to go. I'm going to take my, I'm gonna take my little cloth and work it out. And I'm gonna leave the cute little dots so that you can see them. So I would have an opportunity now, if you're using double-sided paper, I could either put the orange against the back or I could put the dots against the back. And this time, I'm gonna fill it up with some some of my little, some of my little butterflies from the little wooden set. So I'm gonna take some of my little butterflies. Gosh, and there's orange dots and I didn't bring them upstairs with me, but there's orange dots. So let's throw in some yellow dots just so we have some dots in there. Cute little butterflies. Bet we don't have the orange upstairs. Thought I brought every color with me. Okay. So here I am. Now normally I would pull this off and close this up and it would stick to this side. But this time we want to do it a little different. This time we want to pull off our we want to pull off our, our liner. There we go. And then instead of closing our card like we would at earlier, we're going to line up our mat. And we're just going to kind of hover over and line it up and press it down. And now we're in place. Oh! got the little butterflies and because I've got the little orange in the background it works oh my gosh so now I need to go ahead and tape tape this on down so I'm gonna put a little bit of Stacy tape right around the outside edges and of course you guys would do a much better job than me and making sure that there's enough tape all the way around I'm going to expose my sticky. So I didn't use any die cuts yet for this one either. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to drop it in. Oh, there we go. I want to drop it in. And then seal it up. Ta-da! Right? Right, right, right? 
And then if I wanted to, <laughs> then I could come back. I could grab some of this. Oh, I have this piece right here. And I could I could start to decorate. I could put that across. Or maybe up, maybe up top. Oh, maybe down the side. Decisions, decisions, right? Decisions, decisions. That's too fat. A little thinner. This is where definitely having a trimmer would come in handy. This is where you will definitely be able to see that I freehanded. So one there and one here. Oh, it's going to be so cute. And then I can take and I can stamp. So I'm going to to make sure that I get my stamped image. I'm just going to do it by hand. So I've already got that down and I can't move it because it's stuck. I can't open. So I'm going to take and I'm going to literally stamp by hand because my block is too big for me to fit it in my little tiny space here. So we're just going to do it by hand. So one, two, three, give a nice little press. Make sure I've pressed everywhere. We're going to hope that's good enough, close enough. And then I can do my block with my little One, two, three, A, B, C. Take some of my Stacy tape. I'm just using the extras that I cut off. And put that there. Oh, nope, that's gonna be where it's gonna be. And put this one on this side. I don't think I have orange. We can just stamp in black, my thanks. I mean, you get the idea, right? And then you open it up and you can put whatever you want in there. You get the jest. The point is there's many, many, many ways of doing these. And any of them will work and they all look amazing from just stamping with the stamps. All by themselves, just stamping with the stamps. Where's my, I have a little, where's the hello? Where's the hello here? I don't have an orange with me. One, two, three, A, B, C. Orange isn't your color, but it doesn't matter. It's cute. And I used the leftovers from here to do here. I've got it coordinating here with the little dots. I've just made a super simple card. And if you're doing, oh my gosh, if you're doing a, um, a layout, you can use these and cut your pictures and put your pictures inside. It's darling, and I've left room for me to put a gift card in there or write a sentiment or whatever it is I need to say. 
and they come with envelopes. You get the card and the envelope, right? So we started by just stamping. Well, we started by just stamping. Oh, do I have one over here that I just stamped? Hold on. Uh, can I pull this one apart? No, I cannot. Well, okay, so stamping, just stamping, then stamping and layering to make dimensional, then just putting the shaker on the inside, then matting the front and putting the shaker on the inside, then hiding the shaker on the inside panel. Options, right? Amazing and so affordable. I mean, when you can get a stamp and die set at regular price for that, my for nine ninety nine, that's great. And then you put it on a YouTube Yummy sale, and that is it's it's amazing. And I have Lynn from Hampton Arts to thank for all of this. She got all of this to us in time and ready to go. So I have samples. So here's the set I was showing you today with the flowers. And the bundle comes with the, the cards, the envelopes, and the shakers. How cute is that? And look at it, it has the little wooden butterflies just glued straight onto the front of the card. This is straight on the front of the card and a little piece of the die cuts with a view paper down at the bottom, just to add a little bit of structure and base towards the bottom. Kids can do this, you can do this, everybody can, and you feel so successful because when you're done, it just looks good. Nobody needs to know how long it took. Oh no. Okay, unicorns. So we did some unicorns without the shaker at all. No shaker, just used the unicorn die and stamp set. Unicorn shaker, again, hidden. It's hidden. Unicorn die and shaker stamp set. How cute is this, the unicorn using, using the cloud base? That's just darling. I hope your day is all rainbows and unicorns. And just a little piece of paper down at the bottom to 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 um to give some balance to to give some weight down there just to to hold it down and add a little depth to it. And look at this one, wishing you a magical day. So the stamp and die set comes with the rainbow and the unicorn and the clouds and the the sentiments and again you get that with the circles and the card bases to go with for fourteen dollars and thirty seven cents and then we're selling these individually and as sets so you can buy more of these if you get this you can buy more of these to do more really so cute then one of my favorites is the jar so this is their new jar. It comes with the jar and the, the shakers and the card bases and envelopes. But look at the samples. So it comes with all of those flowers for you to be able to build your flowers coming out of your jar. The butterflies are the wood elements. They put some hearts in the center of the jar, the wood elements. So cute. Love the jar. Isn't that pretty? And again, these come from the die and stamp set that goes with the jar. You get the flowers, you get the dies to cut the flowers out. So cute. This one didn't use a shaker at all. Claire used a piece of acetate to cut the jar out and stuck it right over the top of all the flowers that she built using the stamp and die set that it came with. 
So this is using the die set and these are all the stamps. So no shaker at all. And then when life hands you lemon, make lemonades. Just a darling card. Then we have the globe. And I was like, eh, on this one until I saw the samples. I was like, meh. So again, it comes with the shaker cards and the little windows and you get six of each. And I was like, meh, until I saw how cute the cards were. Sending bright and shining, is it bright and shiny wishes? So the cut the globe, the actual globe part out of pattern paper, super smart. Look at this one. How happy and cute is that, right? For a guy, again, didn't use it as a shaker at all. And then look at how cute is this? Turned out I loved the globe. <laughs> I was kind of like, I'm not so sure. But then when I saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, these are awesome. I'm gonna find, oh, I've got a mess going on. Oh, there we go, I wanna make sure I'll hold on to that one. Then we've got the, uh, the ice cream cone which is the one we're using in today's free make and take downstairs. And it actually comes with the cloud. It's the cloud. So you can make the cutest little clouds, but these are ice cream cones that they made out of them. And I'll show you again, the girls put together the cutest little make and take for downstairs. And then you're the coolest. Just bits of peep, look at bits of paper, bits of scraps to outline it. Love the die cuts with a view paper. A little bit goes a long way. And then last but not least, I've got the mugs of hugs. Cute little mug with the coffee. Uh, coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Hello, sweet friend. A cup of thanks, aw. And again, with the this one goes with the hearts. So it's the hearts that you're gonna be filling in. Right, super cute. And then we have some samples of some of the older sets that are gonna be online as part of the YouTube Yummy as well. So let me see if I can grab some of these. So these are some of the older samples that we did. The first time we ran these around, using a little mug. And this was the first make and take that we did with these. We did the little ice cream, or the little, um, a little gumball jar. Oh, maybe we did Hello Sunshine. My gosh, now I don't remember. It's been such a long time ago. No, I thought we did the little ice cream jar, or the little gumball jar. But these are still available. And there's the little jar for lemonade. Maybe we did the lemonade and we put in did we put in packs of, of Kool-Aid, lemonade? I think that's what we did. And we put in a pack of Kool-Aid that was lemonade for everybody. I'm thinking that was it. And then the cute little telephone. And again, we've got the different packs of the sequins and the wood, and the little foamy dots. We've got all of that. And last but not least, 
we've got the gotcha tool by Simply Refined, which is mine. Folds flat, picks everything up, travels easy, stands up, and a much bigger surface thanks to Spellbinders working with me so that I could manufacture this because I just really, really wanted it. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Whew. I've got to get home. Oh, I've got to get home and let me zoom on out. Pack my bag because I leave for New York tomorrow. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't wait to see what I see. I wish I was there for more time, but I'm in and I'm out and I'll be back and then I'm home for a while. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube. I hope you saw the value and what you get from Jilly Bean Soup and Hampton Arts. It's amazing. And a little bit of a budget can go such a long way when you have options. And a big thank you to Spellbinders for bringing my gotcha tool, helping me bring it to, to life. I hope you all like it. All right, you guys, find all of this product at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, or at your local independent mom and pop retailer shop if they happen to have it. Go visit them first. And if they can't get it for you, then shop online. Except for the gotcha tool. I'm the only place you can get that. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.